Asking people what they think about Manchester Pride. Manchester what? Gay Manchester Pride. Pride. Would, yeah. would you pay to come into this area on the bank holiday weekend? No. Would you pay no, that? no, it's out of order. What do you think about you having to pay to access the village during the big weekend? I think it's ridiculous. All I want to do is come out here, enjoy myself with my gay family and my gay friends. That's my gay brother, that's my other gay brother. I want to enjoy myself, I want to have fun, but you got to pay. It's ridiculous. We're not against anything, I'm just, I'm just saying we haven't got an agenda, we're just trying to facilitate a debate with the resident one. Like why, why is it in the village that there isn't a space where you don't drink alcohol, there's no space to have a debate, there's no cafes, there's no bookshop, why is that? You're just here to spend money and drink alcohol. It's also become very straight in recent years and it's more about, um, more about people making money rather than any sort of sense of community or scene. This is a um, poster for Manchester Pride. The poster itself doesn't say gay, lesbian, bisexual, or transgender anywhere on it except if you have a look down here. Oh my god. It says Village Business Association working to serve the LGBT community in the Northwest wow. in like size could that, <laughs> seven could font? That be any smaller? Could it be any smaller? In like San Francisco and New York City, I think there's quite a healthy mix of places. There's places where it's kind of like whatever goes, you can be whatever you want to be, gay, straight, whatever, trans. But it seems kind of like here it's like the white gay male is like the dominant and that's where all the sort of status and that's where everything is aimed at. And all the other identities are like in the same order. And so I think, you know, I think it's really cool that you've got a sackcloth park and then some people choose to just bring their own alcohol and just go drink in the park and sort of like that's the they opt out of the whole um, bar thing. We were sat over there at the Rembrandt um, and we saw the police coming over. What were the police saying to you? Uh, that we're scallies, that we're known by the police, we've got a car on camera kicking off even though we were only sat here chilling, even though we caught on camera, if we were really kicking off the cameras would have nicked us and then they the threatened to arrest us and all that even though they seen it on camera which is out of order, they're just targeting it, they're just targeting <laughs> anybody that's been in trouble with the law because they want us out of the streets of Manchester but we really need the streets in Manchester because most of us are homeless, most of us are on the streets they don't help us, they don't care about us, they never have done, they never will all they think is we're scum on the streets and all they want to do is just lock us up as long as they get us off the streets then it's fine but you know, most of the people here are not even bad people do you know what I mean? All they want to do is live the life and be happy and free. Manchester itself makes £20 million worth of business comes into the city just for gay pride, even though we pay £15 for the privilege of coming in. How much it costs, there is no telling. How much it costs. People on benefits as well haven't got enough money to pay for it. So what we're supposed to do? Stand out on the sidelines. It's out of order. We're all equal, we're all the same, we're all human beings, we all believe the same. Do you know what I mean? It's out of order. Same as what it is. It is. Sam, it is me. Cameras are all the way over there. I know where all the cameras are because you have to know where all the cameras are because so there's nowhere to sleep. Who will buy a, a pawn in a gay village but a gay man or a gay couple? I've slept in here before on the benches and the police will come round and say move on, move on. And if you don't move on, be arrest you. What do you think will happen when loads of people move here from the residential area? And there'll be complaints about the noise and they'll shut down some of the nightclubs and the Look. bars. And that has happened in the city. So that's happening in Birmingham right now. If, you, if you're homeless around town, you know, everybody knows where all the cameras are. I can see. Is that lamp pole, sir? Where? Another one top? here? Another one here? Is that for your safety or yeah. so you don't no. get moved on? We don't get moved on. Where? The one here. And up no. there as well. Look. Shouldn't that be a freedom? I'm, I'm exercising my freedom by talking. Yeah, totally. Totally in agreement with you. Totally. 
So, I mean, I know what your argument is. And this area now, I mean, you brought on these guys here. And these guys are not needed. The frontier wilder than the west ever was. And no sheriff round of this outdoor town. No, no, no problem. You'd think it was paint, wouldn't you? Yeah, but it's not paint, it's chalk. <laughs> it's chalk. If you want, I'll take that off you and I'll scrub everything else on it, right? Is it against the law? To it call? is against uh, the law causing harassment, alarm, distress to people, right? So what I'm suggesting now is if you please shut the harassment to no? Yeah. Okay. To other people. Yeah. Okay. Will you please shut the camera okay. down there? Like now, I've come to the village each the weekend, and I don't have to pay to go to the village. But when the pride's on, I have to pay a 15 quid just to walk along Canal Street. Whereas. San Francisco, you don't pay nothing because the money, the raising on that, is paid straight into charity. I run stores at Lifestyle Expo. They, they shove everyone underneath the concrete car park where most people don't go. It stinks, and like it's almost like that's what they think about the community. It's like, well, okay, you're not you're not here to make money, so we're going to shove you under the car park. If you contact the pride organisers, you won't get a response. To you? get something done in this government, don't you need a politician? No. I mean, I've just had a conversation with a guy who thinks religion is to sort of say the Bible believes in Adam and Eve and not Adam and Steve. Why? We're trying to provoke and start a debate, and I guess they've done that. Well, where does he go from there? It goes wherever the community wants it to go. Loads of people say stuff in private, like, you know, you're saying this now. But would, would you come out to the streets and say, like, I, right. I want more, I demand more than that? I mean, I've been a closet gay long enough, but what's to stop now? Change. 